This is Geometry Lesson 3-7, Size Transformations. We're going to start out by doing Activity 1, and I've provided the activity for you so you don't need to do transfer this onto your graph paper. But uh, what I want you to do is we're going to take all of the individual points and we're going to multiply each coordinate by 3. So I have a, an example of that for you here. So as you can see, I have the grid, and I took each of the points and gave it a coordinate. I named the coordinates. So coordinate, or point B has the coordinates 4, negative 1, C has 1, negative 1, and so on. And I mul multiplied each of them times 3. So you can see over here, and since I'm making a change to the point, I put a prime symbol here. And so you can see the new set of coordinates on the right-hand column. So I'd like you to go ahead and do that. And then what I want you to do is I want you to plot those new points on your graph. And so at this time, please stop the video and plot your additional or plot all of those points. Now that you have fin finished plotting your points, you should notice that you have another sailboat, but it's it's much larger this time. So some of the questions that are at that they're asking you in the rest of the activity is step three. It says lines B B prime, C C prime, and D D prime, and so on through points in their images are concurrent. This means that they have a point in common. This is called the point of currency. What is the point of currency for these three lines? So what I'd like you to do is take a moment to draw that on your sailboat and then see where they all correspond or where they inter see if they intersect or if they have something in common. So when we take a look in, at trying to see where those points intersect we can, I'm going to get my line tool here, and if I connect D to D prime and connect it all the way through, oops, here, let me try that again, D to D prime, let's try it one more time. Notice, okay, here, and let's go B to B prime and carry it all the way through J prime to J. And notice all of them are intersecting as they go through J, uh, J prime, my, my image and my pre-image point. All of those intersect at the origin of 0, 0. So the point of concurrency on this in this drawing is 0, 0. And you'll find that's the case through all of the size transformations that we're doing here. One of the other things that they want you to look at in this lesson is the lengths of the sides of our figures. So if I look here from F to G, I have one unit. And if I go F prime to G prime, I'm going to have three units. Let's take a look if I go from G to D. That is a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's see if the distance from G to G prime, I'm sorry, C, that's where I was, C to D was 6. So C prime to D prime should be a distance of 18. And yes, you can see that that is. So my distance, my pre-image distance, times my size change, or whatever I multiplied all my coordinates by, represents, is, is 3 times that. So here, my pre-image, was one dis uh, one length. I multiplied it times my size change value of three, and I got my new image length. So there's going to be a relationship between my size change factor, and I know I'm talking about size change factors, and we haven't really discussed that, but it'll come into play in just a minute. The other thing that they want you to kind of see here is that the slopes seem to be the same. So if I look here at this blue angled part of my sail, and notice this larger one. They seem to be parallel. Look here, this part of my sailboat and this part. Those all lines seem to be parallel to each other. So let's first of all talk about this, 
thing called transformation that I keep saying. So what is a transformation? A transformation is a correspondence between two sets of points A and B such that each point in set A corresponds to exactly one point in set B and each point in set B corresponds to exactly one point in set A. So think about when we did a rotation. We took a point and we rotated it a certain distance. That was a transformation. Here we moved all of those points, we multiplied all of them in a sailboat times three and got a new point. So there was that one-to-one -one correspondence between our image and our pre-image. A transformation is often called a mapping, and it's said that the transformation maps a pre-image onto an image. In the activity, the correspondence can be described by the rule the x, comma y, so that's our point x, y, and then the arrow, and that's, you would say, maps onto 3x, 3y. So what we've done in that whole activity is called a size transformation. So what is a size transformation when we define it? When k is not equal to zero, the transformation under which the image of xy is the point kx, ky, is a size change trans or a size transformation of magnitude k and center zero, zero. So I have a double star here. This activity was a size change or size transformation of magnitude three and center zero, zero. Remember where all those lines came together? They came together at zero, zero. And the notation for that is s sub three. So let's take a look at example one here. If I have a point Z and I want to find a size change of this factor of 3 over 4, so that means I'm going to take the point negative 12, 20, which was my Z, and I'm going to multiply both those coordinates times 3 fourths. So a negative 12 times 3 fourths gives me a negative 9, and a 20 times 3 fourths would give me 15. So that's where I would put Z prime, or my new, my new image, Z. So the next thing, I keep saying thing, the next piece of this is we want to look at how our image and our pre-image segments are parallel to each other. So if you take a look at your sailboat CB and C prime B prime, they appear to be parallel. And we know that parallel lines have the same slope. So what I need to do is take the coordinates that I have for C, remember, or as you look at your drawing, 1, negative 1 for C, C prime was 3, negative 3 and for B it was 4, negative 1, and B prime was 12, negative 3. So if we calculate our slope, remember you subtract your Y's, so that would be, that would be negative 1 minus a negative 1, so negative 1 minus negative 1 here, and 4 minus 1. So you can see my calculation to the right here, that would give me a negative 1 minus a negative 1, which would be the same as negative 1 plus 1, would give me 0, and 4 minus 1 is 3, and we know 0 over 3 is the same as 3. Let's calculate the slope of C prime, B prime. So that would be negative 3 minus a negative 3, so that's the same as th negative 3 plus 3, and 12 minus 3, which would give me 9, so that gives me a slope of Z, or I'm sorry, of 0, so that means since they have the same slope, then those two lines are parallel. So we discovered that segments, image and pre-image segments appear to be parallel. We also looked at distance, the, uh, the distance relationship seemed to be this, have a relationship the same as the size change value that we looked at or the magnitude of the size change. But we have some theorems that we, or properties that we want to look at. So the, S sub K, or the SK theorem 1 is called the parallel property. And what that theorem says is that under a size change, S sub K, the line through any two pre-image points is parallel to the line through their images. Uh, the second theorem is that collinearity is preserved. So if points were collinear in the image, that means, or in the pre-image, then we know that they're going to be collinear in the image. And then the last one that we want to look at is angle measure is also preserved. So an, an angle in a pre-image is going to be the same as an angle in the image. So there will be a correspondence there. So the third example that I want to do is I want to look at uh, some some size or the the length of your segments. So I want you to prove that a size change of two does not preserve length. So I want you to look at let a be three zero and b be three six. So using the formula for 
a size change of 2, we know that a prime would be 6, since 3 times 2 is 6, and 0 times 2 is 0, and 3 times 2 is 6 here, and 6 times 2 is 12. So if I want to go here, if I'm going to make a segment from a to b, that distance is going to be I'm at 0 and I'm going to 6, so that distance is going to be 6. And here I'm going to go from 0 to 12, so that distance a prime to b prime is 12. So a, b is not equal to a prime, b prime. It's actually 2 times, so size change of 2 does not preserve length. The length of an image is actually k times the length of the pre-image. So that's a very important piece. We're going to explore this much more in class, and we'll do some more size change transformation or size transformations in class as well. So this concludes lesson 3-7.